Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions you would like to contact me, may it be for a reading, may it be for a question, doesn't matter why. If you wish to contact me please look into the description box. You should pretty much be able to find all of the information that you require in order to contact me and it'll be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and I am always very grateful and I do thank you so very much. While I am thanking, I would like to do two more thanks. One of them to all of my beautiful subscribers. Thank you for being, commenting, sharing, participating into the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. I would also like to thank all of these subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. Very um, appreciated also. Thank you. That being said, let's begin this reading. I have four messages here. Please take what's good for you. Leave the rest of it aside. I have four messages coming from Spirit. There's warnings, there's blessings. It's a beautiful mixture of all of it. So let's go and see what messages are here for you today. So the very first message is duality. We have river of blessings. I have achievement and I have soul radiance. So let's start this off over here with a little bit of duality. So duality, of course, is all about those many meanings and what many meanings often come misunderstandings. So this here, she is the disciple. She is the disciple priestess. Now, I have to say she is sitting into a cave here. You might not be able to see that. She's in a place of retreat is really what I want to say. This is all about spiritual side. It's about your spiritual side. This is about representing your um, scholarity, your educated side. This is about a mix of the divine, a mix of the, um, the divine feminine, a mix of the divine masculine, everything combined. And what I really want to say here coming from spirit is that your life is just full of dualities. It is. You're at the same time masculine, you're feminine, physical, ethereal, fully human, fully divine. This is all about encouraging you to explore all of these true yet so very um, diverse aspects of yourself. And it might even feel quite strange to dive into those new spiritual practices if you've only been um, maybe more physically oriented. Now, um, let's say an active masculine approach to life. It might feel unnatural if you're traditionally more reflected onto the feminine mode. But these deeper layers of yourself, they now long to be expressed. So in opening up to these experiences, you're going to tap in to important, previously unknown strengths and talents, and you're simply going to widen up your scope of your spiritual, your personal, and even your professional life. So I do have to say though, although this is all good, it's all about tapping in, it's about tapping into the feminine and the masculine and exploring it, there is also a warning. There is a warning regarding distorted perceptions, um, about um, misunderstandings. So you need to be conscious of the ways that you may, may be misunderstood and you have to be courageous in your intentions to, uh, to live your own life and stand into your own truth. Also, be aware of any misunderstandings that you carry about yourself. Any limiting or any judgmental notions, and we often have some of those, they have to be set aside. A clear understanding of your truth requires you to embrace your divine nature. The most gracious, the most powerful part of your many faceted sparkling identity. This is what you have to work on. So please tell yourself as a beautiful affirmation, I'm willing to explore the many wonderful sides of my nature. Why? Because you're open to understanding the depth of your truth and expressing that to others freely and acceptingly. Moving over now to a river of blessings and this is all about releasing and it's about constraints also. Um, so this is really about, um, how could I say, this is about bringing creation to your life. This is heralding a significant positive change into your circumstances, and but that's always quite welcome. So you may have been experiencing a time of challenges. It could be financial constraints. It could be living paycheck to paycheck or going deep into debt. Um, your restrictions, however, they may be more. Um, they might even be more of an emotional nature for some of you. 
Perhaps you've been lonely, maybe missing romantic or familial or friendly love, even a lack of joy from maybe the ongoing tediousness of life. It could really be a great limitation for you. Now, whether these restrictions have been long lasting or recent, this is a message from spirit revealing that there is a new powerful force that's going to be flowing into your life. It's going to be breaking through even those severe limitations of the past. Your difficulties. Well, they may have been very hard to bear, but this has been a time of profound purification for you. Now, this is about blessing. It's about blessing your rebirth after all that suffering. It's giving you that um, that ability to view your experience with that sharp-eyed clarity, release of attachment that brings the promise of achievement. Whatever limitations you have endured, a beneficial solution is coming your way. So you need to rest assured that the old issues, they're going to be resolved. And as you go through your day, bless yourself with those clear intentions. See any restrictions as merely a part of your passage from purification to personal progress. This is about having your unique visual acuity, your own inner visions. They're coming into sharp focus, ready to become an even greater reality. And in fact, you know what? This is about a river a river of blessings that are going to be coming to you. So please tell yourself as a personal um, affirmation to release attachment, release restriction. Why? Because you're blessed, you're purified, you're ready to receive the expanding value of your flowing and of everything that might be flowing into your life right now. Moving on forward to your following message, we do have achievement and this is about effort plus intention. So um, this is about moving along. As we said, we said there's blessings, there's good things coming your way. Well, this is continuing into the same vein. So this is all about a message of direction in your life. It's revealing that you are going to achieve success, but you're going to achieve it by um, by aligning aligning your conscious intentions with your drive, with your energy, and to put that focus onto your goals. Now, some people, they have really clear, they have specific intentions, yet their efforts, they just kind of fall short due to confusion, misdirection. For some, maybe it could be a little bit of laziness. Others, they put a whole lot of effort into their lives, but their intentions, they're unclear or even full of doubt. The message here is to bring the two together in a lucid and illogical way. It's understanding your true intentions. It's taking responsibility for the effort that you put in them every single day. Um, so this is really about... It's really about putting all of that abundance. It's about putting all that energy towards your goals, towards what it is that you want. Um, tell yourself, you know, create your clear intentions. Put patient effort into your goals. Bring sacred prayers to your personal pursuit every single day. And you are going to get exactly what it is that you want in the end. And we're going to conclude with some beautiful soul radiance. And this is with the Phoenix rising. So this is all about this radiant priestess that we can see here. Um, this is about victory. Victory is at your hand. Um, this fire... That, it could be about work, it could be about relationships, it could be health issues, it could be many different things. And maybe you're into some kind of an... Um, a long kind of a dry spell if you want. Uh, it could be a lengthy period of waiting for change or longing for a resolution. But this is really about knowing that this is a phoenix rising. Things are going to be getting better for you. Um, if you're still trying to overcome a difficult situation or if something has caused some self-doubt or a loss of courage, you need to pause. You need to meditate on your own unerring, unending light. And for this is the divine frequency that your soul's radiance and this is finally going to lift you above all those old limitations. And what it's going to do is it's going to free you. You are going to be able to take that flight. So please tell yourself that you can feel that power of your soul radiating outward into a beautiful, a resonant vibration. And you know what? Success is coming to you now. And this, my dear friends, does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that Spirit brought you some very interesting and um, very encouraging messages. If you would like to contact me, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.